Hey everyone, this is James, and I'm just going to do a quick video because I realized I hadn't really shown specifically how to write standalone scenes in Modium X 2.0, 2.1 uh, using a buddy, or even if you have a 2.1 or 3.0 interface that you're using on this software, um, the same method should apply. All those interfaces still support uh, standalone memory. Uh, the only ones that don't support standalone memory is the obviously the, the, the Modium X 1.0, Modium X 2.0 box, so the one that does not have the silver buttons on the top. And uh, so, but uh, this one we're using a buddy, but we can also use if we wanted to a 2.1 slash 3.0 box, the one with the FED display readout and three silver buttons. Uh, but keep in mind, when you have a buddy, you only have up to 12 channels that come with it for, for free. You can always buy more on the store. If you go to store.dmxsoft.com, you can buy, I think it's packs of 128 channels of standalone memory, standalone channels, those are called, uh, to load onto your device. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick um, you know, 8 channels, 2 RGBWs, so I just need to go and create some scenes, and I'm just going to go to Builder, and you know, turn them on, do a static color, leave it, turn it on, go to Builder, um, You know, make an effect to the color matrix. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just rearrange these. So I'm just going to move this one here to make it better for the, for, for the effect. Uh, I'm just going to make an effect here. So you can see my effect warning on the channels over here. So once I'm done, I like it. I uh, hit generate. Uh, nope. So I'll leave that there. Shut it off. Play it. It back just fine, and you can just go on and keep making other scenes. Um, you know, so, and so on and so forth. So, you see, you have the live tab playing back, of course, and then you also have standalone. And so, once you go to the standalone tab, you can either just flat out write the memory, erase what's already on there, or read memory where you can, um, if you have a show file, I believe, you can store a copy of the show file, the, the, um, the DLM file from IDMX 2.1 onto the memory and with your scenes. And once you hit read memory, it should load up your, your, your file and load up your scenes. So that's cool. Um, you can just go into test mode, so once you click this, you know, you can grab your interface and start hitting the buttons and see uh, it output, actually. Um, it just kind of disconnects the USB from the software and outputs the DMX straight to your lights. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm telling it I want to start on channel 1, and it's going to use 8 channels of DMX. It's telling me if I have any port triggers, which I do not. Um, I don't have any time triggers. Uh, number of scenes. I made three. I have. I can do up to 255 with my current channel usage and current number of scenes that I've programmed. Um, I'm only using 57 steps out of a total possible 679, again, with my current channels used and uh, my current scenes that I've made with the standalone memory that I have. So, 
uh, all the stuff adds up into how much you you can put, you can or cannot put on the interface. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write this in my interface, and it's literally done. It's that fast because it's so small. Um, so anyway, now I can now I can unplug my interface from my computer, plug it in using the um, wall adapter that you can buy, um, or I don't know, some cases maybe even a cell phone battery pack. So take that, wire it up. And I don't even need a computer to run my lights. I just sit there and click the button. So I'm going to switch between these three scenes all night if I wanted to. So it's as simple as that. So uh, this is a quick video on doing standalone memory for the buddy on Mighty Max 2.1. Uh, I've already made a similar video for Mighty Max 3.0. It's on my channel on the Mighty Max 3 playlist. So go ahead and look that up. Um, I'll see if I can maybe put up a suggested link. Uh, once I upload this so yeah I just wanted to share this info with you guys real quick because I had somebody ask ask about it and I figured oh I haven't done that so uh, again uh, any questions or comments go ahead and um, comment below give it a like subscribe to my channel uh, if there's any other videos you want to see done uh, let me know in the comments thank you and thanks for watching